take a look at satellite and radar, we can see some of those rain showers off to the east, still a little bit on the pop-up stages, but we are seeing a couple pop-ups right now outside of Kalamazoo. That's going to continue to be the case through this evening. Many of our southern communities have been stuck with a little bit more cloud cover, and that, of course, increases their chance to pick up on a stray shower or two. But otherwise, the entire evening is expected to stay pretty dry. Our temperatures are currently sitting somewhere in those upper 70s to lower 80s. We're seeing plenty of sunshine right along the lake shore. A little bit of cloud cover starting to be shaken off in spots like Kalamazoo, but off to the south and the east, we're still seeing some of that pesky cloud cover hanging around. When it comes to our dew points, these are starting to drop as well, mainly in those 50s, a couple in the 60s, and now that makes us feel not necessarily so muggy as we would feel if they were in the 60s and the 70s. So a nice little break from the humidity will last through tonight, but what we do not get a break from are those really strong winds. They're moving in from the west at about 10 to 15 and even 20 miles an hour in some spots. A couple individual gusts earlier this afternoon reached the 30 mile an hour range. So definitely a breezy one out there today. So just keep that in mind uh, if you start to see any of your outdoor decorations or anything uh, pretty much tipped over. But that's most likely the wind is the culprit. Over the next couple of hours, we'll start to see that clearing going on for almost all of our communities. However, around midnight, that's when we'll start to see cloud cover actually move right back into the region ahead of chances for rain showers and thunderstorms by Friday. It looks like a couple of waves of showers and thunderstorms are possible. The first wave, just those general rain showers, a couple thunderstorms, mainly around 2.30. The bulk of our potential for severe weather looks to actually move in right after the dinner hour between about 5.30 to almost 11 o'clock at night. That is when we'll start to see it actually swoosh off to the east after that, leaving us with just a little bit of cloud cover and some passing rain showers. Another wave is possible during the middle of the night, uh, but that looks to stay pretty mitigated if we do see those severe storms earlier on in the evening. Clearer skies start to take hold later on Saturday afternoon. Same deal goes for Sunday. We're expecting some very beautiful weather for the weekend. However, we do have those chances for severe weather ultimately fizzling out by early Saturday morning. Morning. After that, our following next rain chance will arrive on Monday. Now, speaking of tomorrow's rain chances, we actually do have some severe weather that is possible. It does look like all of West Michigan is under this level one out of five marginal risk for severe weather. Our main threats will include the potential for gusty winds as well as some hail and some potential heavy downpours. For tonight, though, we're talking the most beautiful night that we possibly could ask for. Overall, pretty quiet and clear, not to mention our temperatures will dip down into the 50s for many of our central and northern communities, so crack open a window and enjoy some free air conditioning. Tomorrow, things look pretty similar temperature-wise to today. The upper 70s, lower 80s. The only difference is we'll have a little bit more cloud cover and the potential for some of those thunderstorms. Those clear out by Saturday, leaving us with a very seasonable weekend ahead with temperatures in the upper 70s lower 80s, but we get much cooler for the start of early next week. Couple chances for showers are likely on Monday with a thunderstorm potentially sneaking in, and then we warm right back up by the middle to end of next week.